Hello everybody, welcome to G4G on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at the very beginning of Marvel's Midnight Suns after installing it and hopefully getting to a uh, first mission or two. So we're going to take a look at maybe about 20-30 minutes of Midnight Suns. So I may be regretting my purchase here. I, I happen to grab the Legendary Edition and I also have a code that's going to give me like a Spider-Man skin, I believe. Um, it was for liking a tweet or retweeting a tweet way back in the spring of 22. But um, before I jumped in today, I wanted to get a, a feel for the reviews of the game. And right now, out of 218 reviews, it's mixed. And there is a definite theme going on to... The mixing. This one over here with the comment about combat not sucking them in is rare. Uh, mostly this is not what seems to be making the reviews negative. It is much like Callisto Protocol, which is another game that I pre-ordered. Um, might be my second whoopsie over there, um, but it, it is about the performance. Again, I this is really tiresome that in this day and age that developers cannot test these games properly on the breadth of hardware that people are going to have. You should not be seeing stuttering, staggery messes in games like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the Switch. Like that, that is a limited piece of hardware what what the fuck are you doing? H how do you release a game on a one hardware unit and still mess it up? And then to come over and see things like Callisto Protocol is getting screwed because of bad performance and stuttering on three eight you know thirty eighties, and now to hear the same thing with Midnight Suns and also apparently they've slipped in Denuvo. Denuvo is a form of anti cheat or uh, you know copy protection. And typically, developers um, try to have Denuvo around until the game gets cracked and gets released on, like, the torrent circuit and everything. And then they go, okay, you know, we'll take away Denuvo because now the game is cracked, so now it's useless to have it. Denuvo fucks with everybody. Everybody's hated Denuvo since the dawn of time. Um, there, here's some complaints about the microtransactions and the stuttering. Here, there is performance issues and Denuvo being slipped in as scummy. Uh, Denuvo DRM, there we go again. I'm going to hold off on the review, but the stuttering, I've updated my drivers, blah, 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 blah. Um, so far, it's great. I'm playing it on the Steam Deck and PC. Steam Deck gets around 60 to 48 FPS on medium with the visuals set to high. So that's not too bad. And it's nice to know that works on a Steam Deck. Ray tracing is buggy as hell. Turn it off. The FPS will be fine. Fuck the 2K launcher. You'll see that in a moment. I played it for about three hours on a 2060, which is me. Um, I'm running it on its high settings. Uh, the game does have some stuttering when you're Abbey, in the Abbey. My frames dropped the very first time I got to the Abbey, but overall it's running good. So, um, yeah, it, it, and it also comes in at about 50 gigs, by the way. I have seen some of the developers play this game and I've read a review on I believe it was IGN last night before I could actually download it and they said it plays more friendly than XCOM um, and XCOM 3 and all those so there's the 2k launcher starting up which is new to me I've never seen a 2k launcher before um, and, and you're talking to somebody who's been a, a rabid Borderlands fan since Borderlands 1. I, I don't do the Telltale series, and honestly, um, fuck Borderlands the pre-sequel. I think that game was trash. But, so this is, this is new here. Uh, it is linked already to my 2K account. It did pick it up from Steam, so I didn't have to sign into it. And I can tell you that the first time I launched it, which I did launch it once so that I could get the audio, these screens right here seem to confirm the stuttering. I mean, you can see it, it, it chugs sometimes. Like, sometimes it spins okay, and then it's like chicky, 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 chicky. Um, that was a bad look. 
but we'll see what the actual gameplay is like. Now, I have not played or done anything yet other than getting in one time to lower the sound and the music so that it, it doesn't blast you guys out and everything. But, uh, you know, it's it's sort of my duty to try and cover the Marvel games on this channel, which is why I wanted to uh, grab this, but I have to see what the performance is like, otherwise this might be tempting to do a refund. And that is not something I've ever really done before. The only thing I tried to do a refund for was that Aliens Fire Team, because I found that it was for free on the Microsoft Store with my pass and everything, but... Um, they were like, oh, you've earned, you've had it for more than 48 hours, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but look, I haven't even launched it. And they're like, nope, too bad. I was like, ah, oh, fuck you, Steam. Um, story, heroic, story, normal, heroic, and heroic 2. And heroic 3's ultimate, ultimate, good god. Wow, that is a lot of, that's a lot of options there. Um... You do look like you, it is, there is risk reward going on. Enemy health and enemy offense, one revive per mission. Hero XP goes up. Mission gloss bonus, whatever that is, goes up. Let's see what ultimate looks like. An extreme challenge. Health is up. Offense is up. No revives, I was expecting that. Additional enemy reinforcements, but hero XP is up 40% and mission gloss bonus is 175 now, um, for my history, which is a valid thing to talk about for a game like this, I played XCOM 1 way, way, way back in the day and then haven't played any of the XCOM games since. So I am an XCOM-styled newbie. Um, we will do the tutorial mission, that's fine. I don't have my FPS counter running. This looks pretty. The logo in the lower right is a little stuttery, but you know, you don't expect things to be perfect there. And I'll show you my graphical settings in a moment. I should have done that. All right, I got the arrow, so it looks like it should be showing up soon here. I do believe this game is gamepad enabled. Run low. This seems okay so far. This doesn't seem too bad. You know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Performance still looking pretty good. Although that is a Wow, look at that chest. Sacred Harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. It is a very um, Rob Layfield the chest there. For the, midnight sun. the infamous Captain America picture with the chest bigger Turn than two people's bodies. Eyes upon us and arise. Nice show. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. Oh, I would wait, Crossbone. Something's happening. What is this, Diablo 4? Mother of Sanctuary. Oh, she's gonna get drained. She's gonna get drained. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Dissolved. Log out of the Matrix for her. This is a cool Hydra aesthetic. I like it. Oh, they looked at the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, they looked at the Ark of the Covenant. Actually, you know, Hydra is German based, so we're just melting Nazis again like the Ark of the Covenant. Keep your eyes shut. Don't look at the light. It is interesting to know that Harrison Ford is going to be back as another run for Indiana Jones. Boy, that is that is an old person for that now. 
trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. The original, original Ghost Rider. I don't it's like you either. Sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Loquacious, happy to... Ha! Ah. Money. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? <laughs> the fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. It is true. The I am of the Midnight Sun is Iron us. Man. Your last crusade. Where's the Iron play? Man splash intro? Come on. This time I intend to look after my own. Hey pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. <laughs> Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. Uh oh. You're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo Man. I want to see him with Iron his faceplate on. There we go. <laughs> That's good humor. I like that. 2K's got pretty good humor. It's okay. It's fine. I want to see if this is as janky as Marvel's Avengers. This is going to be a fight. Okay, so the faceplate looks pretty good. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. There are three main types of cards, attack, skills, and heroics. Playing a card costs one card play. Select the ability with left mouse button, activate it, and then the left mouse button to confirm it. Each turn, you receive three card plays. Use attack cards to damage enemies and gain heroism. Uh, all attacks grant one heroism when used. Some attacks have added effects like knockback and stuns. So, can I blast from here? Um, yes? Oh, okay, so don't try to click on the body. Just get the reticle at his feet. That's how to do it. So I moved automatically, and now I'm going to shoot. Knockout. Whatever gets the job done. Um, can I blast again already? Looks like I can. All right, go Iron Man. Nice. So the performance seems okay so far. At least on medium, this looks relatively pretty, and I'm not detecting any major stutters. Heroic cards are powerful and decisive. Playing heroic cards require heroism. Gain heroism by playing attack and skill cards. So, are, are we really going to make it this easy? I know it's a tutorial, but damage every enemy. All right. Nice. Okay. That's the spirit. Once you've played your cards, use X to finish your turn. Oh, see? Now that's actually a gamepad command. They need to tell you that. You might be tempted to hit X on your keyboard. I'm currently not playing with the, the joystick it's enabled. Going too well. There are two types of enemies, minions and elite. Minions have no health, any damage defeats them instantly. Elites have higher health and require more damage. Use attack and heroic cards wisely. High damage cards may be wasted on minions. Okay, that, that makes sense. That may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Why am I... That's also interesting that I'm now. seeing... Then you take the extra um... Glad. I'm on Iron Man, but why am I seeing a Doctor Strange card there? So it is cool that you will move automatically to the um, closest distance to get an attack. Probably what they want you to do here not is bad. build up, not um... Great, but not bad. Okay, so it automatically switches. Can I knock him back into the elites, maybe? Oh, okay, so let's... I'm gonna try and knock him back into that rock. Let me show you. Something. 
It's in your best interest to quit now. That's the heroic already? Okay. So maybe a high soulless brute targeting Doctor Strange. Targeting Doctor Strange. Alright, so let's go with the heroic. Nice. Uh, no more card play, so I'll click down here. Do the X. Let's see what an attack is like. Save some for the others. We haven't quite Oh, we have reinforcements. Oh sure. Pick on the smart guy. At the start of each turn, hero icons will appear above each enemy, showing who that enemy intends to attack. Use it to determine which enemies to defeat. Okay, now tactical. So it looks like everybody's going for Doctor Strange. Something protective? Well, I could give you a hand. Give all right, so I will give him a block since everybody's targeting him. I think that's what it wants me to do. Don't mention it. You've done me a great favor. So this is the one with the knockback. Let's see if we can knock this guy back into one of the rocks since he's a elite. No, can't. All right, we'll have to go to the far rock. My Only five, even after the knockback. Fair enough. All right, how how do I rotate? It's not the arrow keys. Okay, so the right mouse button will rotate if you're not using the joystick. Maybe I can knock him into. Okay, I see I see how it's calculating the damage now. Lilith doesn't care about All right, no more cards. Okay, so there's the block from Iron Man or Robo Man. Is this other guy going to get close enough? Oh yeah. Be nasty about it then. That was a pretty good shield, though. Everything solid so far? Uh, I'm gonna Maybe open spell? up with. A spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell to change the very demeanor of. Let's see if it gets everybody on the field, no matter where they are. Can't make it in the next okay, <laughs> that certainly works. Um, I'm gonna do. Wins again to blow this guy back. Maybe to the rock to the left. Nope. Just a straight up knockback. Let's see how much damage it does with it when it's not impacting anything. No damage. It's just a knockback. And then he walks right back. Okay. Wow. That's kind of trash. Okay. So far, so good. Environment attacks cost heroines, but do not use the card play. These free attacks are very useful. Use them. And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? So is this like a telekinesis thing that's going to happen here? Oh, that camera move was really fast. Oh, it's Iron Man who was doing it. I thought it was going to be like Doctor Strange, the telekinesis. Does it leave me? Oh, wow, it leaves me up here. Um, Getting it done anyway, we know how. I guess this is essentially the, like the equivalent of unlimited free actions from Marvel Avengers. Or I should say Marvel Avengers Alliance. Uh, yeah, I'll just go. go for this, dude. This is kind of neat. I like this mechanic. Seven KO'd enemies in a turn is an achievement. Wow, this is kind of long. 
Um, let's blast this dude since I'm right here. There's this. Okay, so there's my health in the lower left. Um, you know what? Let's do. Wow, hello, camera. Why don't you go over to Doctor Strange? That was a little jarring. Let's give it a go. Fair enough. I, I guess I'll finish up on the heroic. Seems a little overkill. I think it's worth it because I think this is the last. Yeah, there we go. It was the last one. Fun performance seemed okay. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The Oh, she looks pissed. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. That was a resting bitch face. <sighs> Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Strange, it's complicated. It's good outfit yes. for her. Are you? Let's uh, put a pin in that. Whoa. Oh. I thought that was Human Torch for a second. Really flirking powerful. So, um, piece Here. of trivia. My cat, Chewie, he'd have come himself, but he's... Uh, is named after the flirkin. He's not named after the movie flirkin, which was Goose, but he was named after Chewie from the comics. Uh-oh. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. Hmm. I wonder if there's going to be some backstory on that. The rest of you may feel free to smash away. Hulk, <gasps> smash. Are we getting into another tutorial mission already? And. And black screen? Uh, hello? Wow, that was scary. I thought everything froze and locked up there for a second. That was... Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. Uh, okay. That was a little weird. I, Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming I can't from throw even... Here. All right. Guessing that explains the Hydra goons and all Let's the try and lines. knock back first. Tab quickly yes, to go between targets. Okay. Um, let's try knocking somebody into somebody and see what happens. Nice. Okay, that's cool. That was something. Can I now pick this up? All right, I guess I have to do something first. So it looks like he's targeting Iron Man. Um, mm, a little bit of a stutter on that one. I don't like the fact that it isn't jumping to the person who's using the card. I'm going to go for him because he's actually targeting Iron Man, so... It'd be nice if you pick a card and it centers on that person. Use redraw to replace undesirable cards in your hand. Highlight the card, hit redraw, then hold R to replace it with a new one. The new card is random, but it may be more useful. So it wants me to redraw this card with R on a joystick, not... Oh, no, R on a keyboard for this one. Alright, standard attack. Hello? Yep, yep. A little funky there. All right, X. So X on the keyboard is working now. Okay, I don't have to click it. Arm beta moving into position. 
I wonder if you can find out how many waves you need to fight. Like, you ready to save the world? use move to reposition here and set up the perfect knockback angle, air of attack effects, or environment attacks. Select any location on the ground with the left mouse and enter move mode. Each turn you have one free move. What? Um. Huh? Let me. What is. What does it want me to do exactly? Because. Oh, I see. Okay, wait a minute. There we go. I see. I get it. Move and act at the same time. Oh, well, no, maybe not. It's given me another chance to... Okay, interesting. I guess what it was showing me was a planning after moving. I thought it was going to have me move and kick the couch. Um, huh. These guys were just there. Uh, Alright, let's try and knock back on these two. Into Alright, yep, let's try this. Blast the guy right in front of me. A lot of people are targeting Doctor Strange. Man, nobody likes this guy. You guys should talk to your union. Though. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. Is that all? So that was interesting. Captain Marvel went around the guy who was close to get. That's a, a neat little thing over there. Shows a little bit of realism. She doesn't just like phase through the person because it's a video game. On attacking me. Is there any way to tell? No, I don't see anything about the waves. Alright, so I'm apparently now on my own. Let's see. Draw the last two attacks played. Start next turn with four card plays. Not really too sure what that is yet. Double your current heroism. I don't have a hero card. Damage enemies in a line. Okay, that looks good. There's two people we're going to get rid of here. Oh, there's a bad stutter again. <sighs> That's not good. I know that wasn't your signature move. Camera turn is really fast. Do Everybody's going for Doctor Strange. Holy shit. Not a Fair enough. Which arm are you guys again? Arm D, B team, third strength. I truly feel like... I wonder... Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, this is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what happens here. Did it hurt Captain Marvel too? I think it did. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry. Sorry about that, Captain Marvel. Honestly, you would think goons like this would get one shot by hero abilities, but then again, would it be a fun game? And here we are with the fucking stagger again. Ah, uh, this stutter is... Yeah, this is not good. I'm feeling good about this um, that is potentially a little refund worthy there. I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game. Of a terrible suspicion as well, let's see what the double her heroism does. Ah, here we are with a heroic. All right. So we'll use it on the guy with the most health, obviously. That's pretty awesome. And the damage stays on the ground. I like that. Like, the environment 
shows you the results of your your battle and doesn't seem to go away, which is pretty cool. Things are moving right along. Uh, let's have Iron Man go for the kill on this one with just a simple blast. Interesting tactic. It'd be nice if they could make a setting that allows you to just do the attack and you don't see like the little mini cutscene for it just to speed things up. Kind of like Final Fantasy VIII's um, Guardian Boys. Force something skips. Blocking them. Not something, someone. I really just want to get into the Abbey at this point so I can see if that's as bad as people say. Oh well, here she is. Mother of Sanctuary, Lilith. Mother of demons, harbinger of the midnight sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep, challenging the sorcerer supreme. Oh, something bad's gonna happen to him. Yep. Be still. What just happened? Ooh. Oh. Which go? Daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. Okay, so she's still here. Where did Captain Marvel go? If she's still there. Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance I gotta of admit their character designs are a little better than Marvel's Avengers when it first came out, before they were doing the MCU stuff. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Wow, they are just relegating her to trainee. <laughs> Sorry, trainee Scarlet Witch. Stay behind and mind the fort. Alright. What I would like to do is, if this is going to be another mission, I will stop the video and then restart it once I actually get to the abbey and see how bad this actually is hopefully this is the abbey at this point because i feel like we've had enough tutorials so far but those free those combat freezes are bad the really long black screen i was honestly like looking at my monitor and my computer i thought the game had died at that point i i truly thought like my computer had shut off or Something had majorly crashed. I was very, very surprised that combat started. I, I would have bet the house on the fact that things had completely fucked up at that point. That, if it happens infrequently, isn't so bad. But it takes you out of the game and the immersion to use an ability and just have that big hang-up over there. I mean, yes, this is a tactical game. It's not an action game. It's not... A bloodborne it's not a fighting game or anything like that and you can kind of suffer those hitches but still should you do you want to in any way shape or form even if you can actually be okay with it boy this loading screen is taking a long time i can definitely see why there's negative reviews on this this is this is legitimately pretty bad especially for this day and age and i'm on a 2060 um it is one of the most popular cards in nvidia's line apparently i think the 1660 was immensely popular for them i may have been um out in the wild more than any other card they had but i mean a 2060 is pretty solid for this okay that one on purpose. The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, 
a pocket dimension. Maybe we're getting into the Abbey. This looks promising. Nice. Welcome. Yes. Okay. Sweet. The mausoleum. Nico Blade, magic and. How is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League. Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Oh, now, Robbie Ray. Just take a moment. Enough. Hmm. You're standing on my flowers. Oh, a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. Oh. We are sisters after all. Family drama. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. That Nico is very much Shall seems like it's based on the Nico from the Steven? runaways. I would say ripped fairly closely from it. No one can argue that the hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. Oh, are we resing our own person? Make everything sounds so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence ah. with their corporal form. Speaking of it's a basically it demolition man. Image for the it goes yeah. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity. Resurrecting one person to deal with another resurrected person. All right, so character customization. Um, from what I know, she is supposed to be female in the plot of the game, so I'm gonna go with that. Wow, oh, mouses. Uh, actually, the one, yeah. Go blue to make it stand out a little bit. We can rotate the character. Um, loose ponytail is fine. I'm actually pretty happy with the default over here. But facial hand is... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that is... That is... Oh, that is something. That is something. Um, good, good for the inclusion there. Happy to see that you can do that if you want to. But <laughs> that is... It was a little jarring over there. It's fun though. You you can make exactly what you want. Child of light and darkness. You who came the night. Hear the voice of those who beseech thee and uh -oh. Wait! Wait! Ah! Nico seems pretty intense here. Mother. So that's a good thing, right? Magic looks so fucking casual. Interesting. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Waiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. I, nowhere else I, I guess she's resurrected, maybe? It worked? Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. I'm happy with Blade's design. I think Blade looks awesome.
Okay, Cosmos, interesting. Clicking didn't seem to like speed anything up over there. If I get another loading screen, I'm just gonna pause it. Into oh, never mind. So cold, but the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? That's that's called pollution. That's smog. I thought somebody was supposed to hang out with her until she got up. Why'd they all leave her? I know this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. Oh, there's Blade. But now I sense I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. I recognize that voice. Guess that makes two of us. You should I have think I know who that is. The chance of vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. Michael is I White? Maybe. Before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless the guy who played the Black Manta and Aquaman? And I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I, I gotta thought you'd notice since happen. we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn peer? Daywalkers were a myth even to me. Says the half human, half demon monster hunter. Oh, I get to pick stuff now. Since they have. We'll be nice. I do. And last I checked. Yes, Michael Jai White. White. I was right. Nailed it. You want to take a run at me? You can try it. But I got my name for a reason. <laughs> I've probably killed more vampires than you've ever seen, hero. <laughs> Such fighting spirit. No wonder cares. Yeah, we can't speed this up, unfortunately. Maybe right. escape. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go. I actually don't like Blade Sword though. It's just like a machete and a Bass Pro Shop holder. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really going to love you. Others? Yeah, you got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? His outfit looks great. Hope you're up for the, the vest, the jacket. One. Just not that happy with the sword. Sword's too modern. Blade is now available for combat missions objectives. Speak to Nico. Okay. Can, can all right, yes. Can I walk now? Uh Alright, so M brings up the map. That's that's cool. Hunter's Folly. Eric Brooks. All right, now we can finally like get into some settings and inventory. So it seems like we finally have control of the game now. But every time I hit the arrow, it, it just wants to show me. Oh, because it wants Wasted. Never mind, I got it. So far, the performance seems okay. Did they maybe mean inside the abbey is when things did screw up? Or did Nico just raise the dead? Yeah, Hunter. this seems okay so far. I'm not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm the witch who called me back from the grave. Okay, so what I'll do is this video's run long enough so far. Um, I'll go ahead and stop this video here after we do this little intro. And um, I'll do a, a second video on maybe... Elena what things are like is. after here and if and things are really bad and staggery and stuttery inside of the abbey and whatnot of course. so i'll go ahead and end it here hope sense. you guys enjoyed the video of Whoa. uh the beginning How of midnight suns maybe it'll help you buy the game maybe it will help you ignore the game because of some of the 
performance issues that we've seen and everything, but I'm Welcome really liking I guess Nico's look I over here, the Hunter's Magic's look. I mean, right. any game where Magic is, well, we I'm, I'm happy. Door, she was then. just such a favorite character of mine in Marvel Avengers Alliance and Marvel yeah, Heroes. Still, well, um, you know. We've got Robbie yeah. Reyes, we've got Basic Blade, stuff. Iron Man, Doctor Wars, Strange, Captain Wars, Marvel. Library, a few places to chill, and uh, whatever the hell Forge is. We should have Spider-Man and some others. I don't know where I can use the code yet that I have, but we'll definitely experiment and find out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this first look at Midnight Suns, and hopefully stay tuned for a second video on it. We'll see what happens. Catch you all later. Napalm out. Oh.